Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna look at James Tyler guitars and my opportunity to order my custom Studio Elite Burning Water from Martin Music in Memphis, Tennessee. You excited? Are you videoing right Yeah. Now? <laughs> yeah, I'll be more excited when I get there. On our way to the guitar store. So first off, let me shout out Eric Martin at Martin Music, who's taken care of me since I was a kid growing up in Memphis. I remember saving up uh, all the money that I earned cutting lawns when I was 13 to buy this used tie-dye Strat, um, which is the one that you see right over here. Um, I actually sold the one that I bought from Eric and found this one. Uh, which is the exact same guitar um, just a few years ago and had to get it um, just for nostalgia's sake. Um, so shout out to them for really accommodating me and my wife and my family this weekend uh, while we were in town and got to order this guitar. All right, here we are at Martin Music. Um, yeah, going to be likely placing an order for a James Tyler. Uh, I'm going to play a couple others and just like do my last minute uh, make sure that's what I want to do here um, so this is a guitar store that I grew up going to uh, shout out to Eric Martin always taking care of me since I was a little kid so um, it's an exciting day here we go This is called uh, Tuckerberry. It's brand new color. There's a guy named Tucker who has worked for. He he's the guy that does the schmears. He's worked oh, at wow. Tyler for a, right at ten years, and almost every schmear he's done. <laughs> Because of the cream, <laughs> but still, most people do black. Let's but, go with black. I mean, you can That's, always. Change I can it. always. It's, yeah, it's this is yeah. The, the button color is black. black. Yeah. Let's look at a quick history of James Tyler guitars. The company was founded in 1972 and didn't see its first production model until 1987. And to this day, James Tyler guitars are really known for three things. Their unbelievable build quality and attention to detail, their polarizing headstock that you either love or hate, and I personally think it's the best headstock ever created, and their polarizing finishes. And not to mention the absolute unbelievable list of incredible musicians that have played these guitars so let's look at some of the models, starting with the first one that came out in 1987 called the Studio Elite, which is like a super strat, has an HSS setup, 
and has a mid-boost preamp circuit built in. In 1993, the second model, the Ultimate Weapon, is a similar setup, but a more modern body shape than the Super Strat of the Studio Elite. In 2006, they introduced the Mongoose and the Mongoose Retro, which is more of like a Les Paul meets a Telecaster type of body. And their original finishes started in 1991, made for Michael Landau, called the Psychedelic Vomit, that James Tyler was quoted as saying that it was more of a joke that the world took seriously. In 1993, the next original finish, also made for Mike Landau, was the Burning Water finish. This is the one that I saw hanging behind the counter at Martin Music when I was a kid, and it struck me ever since, and I've dreamed of owning a Burning Water with the bare forearm cut ever since then. And in 1998, the iconic Schmear finish was introduced. And there are several variations of all these finishes, with the psychedelic vomit having different color patterns, the burning water being with and without the blue, that are all unique as a fingerprint. So when you order one, it's really exciting because you don't know quite exactly what you're gonna get. But besides the way they look, these guitars are built with an extreme precision. And I would describe it as all of a sudden you pick this guitar up and the instrument is not a factor anymore. Every note that you play, every dynamic that you put into the guitar is fully you. And all of a sudden you can express yourself musically without any barriers because the instrument can keep up and gives you whatever you put into it. They also have a Japanese line, the Tyler Baster and the Classic, which are variations of Fender style guitars made to James Tyler specs, but at a more affordable price range made in Japan with that awesome headstock. And the list of players is just unbelievable. Abraham Labrell, Dan Huff, Mike Landau, George Lynch, Jakey Lee, John Fogarty, Steve Howe, Steve Lukather, Prince, Kenny Loggins, Vivian Campbell, Walter Becker, Wayne Krantz, and the list just goes on. And they're kind of mysterious and not because there's anything hiding from James Tyler, but they don't do a bunch of marketing. They make very few guitars a year and each one is made to such a high level that it's pretty unbelievable the consistency that you can get out of a James Tyler. Which leads me to going to Martin Music and being able to order my very own Studio Elite Burning Water. I was able to go on my birthday weekend and place an order at Martin Music with Eric with all of my dream specs. And now the wait is on for it to arrive and then we can unbox it. Hopefully you get the opportunity to play a James Tyler and you'll see what I mean by the instrument is not a factor anymore. You're spending all this money on a guitar for the goal to be the instrument not being a factor anymore sounds ridiculous, but really allows you to put every expression that you want into that guitar and it's gonna come out. I'm so looking forward to being able to unbox this guitar and play it and you'll see it on this channel constantly. It's going to instantly become my number one and my house is burning down, I'm gonna run in and grab this guitar instrument. It'll be a lifelong instrument and I feel very lucky to be able to order one. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. It's a little different than our normal pace here on the channel. If this is the kind of content that you enjoy, please like and subscribe to this channel. Let me know down in the comments what elite level of guitar you would custom order, what your James Tyler specs would be, which finish you would go with. And until next time, I've been Colin.